Well, joining me now, Congressman Ron DeSantis, a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee as well as Judiciary and Oversight Committees. I almost said Judiciary correctly. Congressman, great to have you with us. Good to see you. Good evening. Uh, let's start with the heavily redacted uh, uh, FBI summary of Hillary Clinton's session last month with FBI, FBI agents. What's the game being played here? Heavily redacted. Uh, I, I, do you feel like you're being a little uh, condescended to by the FBI? Well, it may be. I think we're going through it now. The committee, uh, the counsel on the committee are going through it. You know, if I was Hillary Clinton, I could just have them email it to me on my <laughs> Gmail account, but that's not the way it works. So you actually have to go into a secret facility or have access to a sipper net right. to at least get the, top, the secret uh, stuff, but then the top secret stuff would have to be done in a skip. So we're working through that, and hopefully we'll have a better sense of where we are. But obviously, we're going to seek all the information uh, because I think it's important that the American people have the truth. And obviously, we're not going to release the contents of the top secret emails that she was sending and receiving, but at least Why knowing... Why not? They weren't classified. Congressman, she said she promised us there was no classified material, yet you all can't see the material because it's so classified you have to be in a skiff. I mean, give me a break. Well, she was wrong about that. And that's why with the perjury referral that we sent over to the Department of Justice, there is this issue about she said nothing was marked classified. And that is important about whether she lied or not. But even as James Comey said, it doesn't matter if it's marked classified. It was classified. Right. Anyone in her position either would have known or should have known that it was classified. And so I think you're right. I think it's very ironic that she said there's no classified. Then here we are. It's like Fort Knox just to review the file because there's so much classified. Well, do you have hopes that there will be any action taken? I mean, I can't imagine it. Loretta Lynch would have to stumble, uh, you know, going to the closet or something, uh, you know, uh, and, and hit her head uh, to prosecute. So who's going to prosecute uh, following up on your letter? Well, look, that's why I've been, I called for a special counsel over a year ago, because Lynch has a relationship with Bill Clinton, uh, who appointed her to high office sure. in the 90s. Obviously, she met with him on the airplane. So she's not going to be somebody who I think that's going to give it a fair hearing. And uh, we didn't have enough pressure put on to get that done. But I do think it's our responsibility. If someone comes before the Congress and doesn't tell the truth, we need that to be investigated. So Comey is going to have a, uh, uh, an issue of, he sees that he investigated the statement she was saying already and she was not telling the truth. Yeah. So what does he do? So I think that at a minimum, I think he's going to have to look at the law, look at the facts that he's already uncovered. He's going to see that her statements are inconsistent with that. And then he's going to probably have to refer this to DOJ. Don't hold your breath that Lynch will yeah. do anything. No. But I do think it's important that at least we do our role in the Congress to hold people accountable. The Democratic Party has as a presidential nominee right now, an FBI certified liar at the top of their ticket. And it's that straightforward. Uh, James Comey called her a liar in front of the Congress. Trey Gowdy uh, getting six responses that were in, in which she contravened truth. Uh, and the, the FBI validated that statement. It, it seems there's no, there's no option here. There's no wiggle room. There's no margin. She straightforwardly lied to the Congress, did she not? I think she did. And, and what we haven't focused on as much as her statements about did she turn over all the emails. She said under oath she turned over all work-related emails. We know the FBI found right. thousands of work-related emails. She also said her attorneys actually reviewed every email to determine what was work-related or not. That wasn't true at all, as Director Comey said. And it's no. interesting, after I, they did that review, they forensically wiped all her, her servers and devices. Why would you do that unless you're trying to hide the truth? You know, at this point, I'm, I'm starting to think you guys must, uh, sitting there on Capitol Hill, you must think you have more people lying to you than you do people telling you the truth uh, as a result of these hearings. Uh, I hope that's not the case, but it sure looks that way. Congressman, always good to have you with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.